technology. Hello people, today I'm gonna do something, a kind of special video. I'm gonna show you the Moto G running Android Lollipop that's unofficial of course and da -da -da -da, new haircut. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get to it. In this custom ROM, most of the things are working, however this should not be used as a daily driver because it does have some problems. And I hope you're enjoying the scenery. Now in the settings, Google has decided to integrate one of the things from the ever so popular Flappy Bird. Now in this game, you will play as Flappy Bird, however you are using an Android and it's really really pretty hard. It is a nice little addition from Google. Now I may have said this on my last video, but I'm going to say this again. Android has really really matured. Now every action here gives you something. It's like Newton's third law. And now I'm just gonna jump between apps very very fast. Now the idea here is to show you the smoothness of the ROM. Now this may be an unofficial build, but it does stack up against other stable builds. Navigating between apps is no chore at all, even with animations enabled, just as expected from a stock Android phone. And now on with our little speed test, so I'm just gonna launch a lot of apps here and you really don't have to focus on them, it's just a little speed test. Now as you can see here the app load times are quite decent, the dialer launched quite immediately now this is good for a one gigabyte ram phone and even it did surpass the performance of the moto g running android lollipop did surpass some flagships like the lg g3 i did compare some apps with it and it surprisingly did launch some apps also faster so just to mention here the LG G3 16GB variant has 2GB of RAM and the LG uh, and the Moto G has 1GB of RAM so that's amazingly crazy. Now as you can see here Android Lollipop is just another thing. So in the camera we do have some issues now I'm not sure if, I, if you can see them now but sometimes when I do press the camera button it did not it does not photograph anything. Now this ROM is possible by the awesome guys at XDA.com who ported Synergy Mode 12 to bring us this amazing fast ROM. Now head over to XDA and thank those guys. We have reached the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and the special scenery. And if you want more videos like this, please click on the subscribe button. This will help me greatly. And leave your feedback in the comments below. And if you do like this video, please do not forget to press on the like button. Again, your feedback is very important. And goodbye.